guys, welcome to EC Electronics. So we all are lazy basically. Whenever we are preparing for competitive examinations or semester examination, we all have some laziness, right? And uh, when we go for an end time preparation, we always search for important topics, right? We all do this. Now, today we in this video, we'll be seeing what are the 10 topics which you cannot actually skip if you are preparing for any competitive examination of electronics. You know, there's a lot of examinations going to happen or uh, is for electronics branch that is for ISRO, BARC, then AFCAT is there, DMRC is there, a lot of examination, UGC, net examination. So all these examinations are demanding certain very, very important topic. Now in this video, I have included the 10 most important topics which you cannot skip if you are preparing for a competitive examination that can be any examination of electronics okay so let's see the 10 topics one by one now these topics from this topics i've included from all the subjects covering not just from a single subject but all the core subjects of electronics from all the core subjects of electronics i have chosen this 10 topics now this doesn't mean that you can skip all the other topics this is the topics which you cannot skip these are the inevitable topics okay so let's see the topics one by one the first topic is opam or operational amplifier now why i have included the opam as first because a lot of questions come from the opam area numericals and theory okay you know that there is a lot of characteristics of opam ideal operational amplifier it's theory questions, a lot of questions are there. There are a lot of characteristics of the OPAM. So all these things are very important when seeing on a competitive examination perspective. And also a lot of numerical questions can come, especially connecting uh, OPAM in various configurations, that is inverting configuration, non-inverting configuration, and also connecting with other components like opam and bjt opam and diode you can place opam in a lot of circuits so opam is a very very important area which you cannot avoid when you are preparing for a competitive examination you should be knowing the all basic equations of opam you should be knowing all the uh, characteristics main theory concepts of opam the virtual ground concept all these concepts all the characteristics cmrr all these things are very very important okay so you cannot skip opam in a competitive examination preparation whether it is theory or it is numerical okay so opam is the first topic the next most important topic is diode session so you know that diode can fall in various subjects like edc in analog electronics all these subjects and a diode can fit into okay so various properties of the diodes we explore okay so diodes or pn junction diodes is very very important in analog electronic subject if you see uh, the equation the current equation of the diode is important the the voltage equation of the diode is important and also uh, in case of uh, the edc its proper diode properties pn junction properties is also very very important and also diode can be placed in various networks and circuits and you need to solve the circuit for voltages and current so diode is a very very important area and also i mentioned center diode because center diode is actually a very very vast area a lot of questions can come especially in theory and also in numericals numericals can be a little bit tough and confusing but if you practice zener diode questions you can see that they are all always following a same pattern sometimes okay so zener diode is also very very important and you cannot skip this topic diode and zener diode because they fall actually into various subjects in various subjects you can find the zener diode or the, and the diode okay so the second topic which you cannot avoid when you're preparing for a competitive examination especially is diode the third topic is boolean algebra so boolean algebra is falling into the subject called digital electronics or digital circuits and boolean algebra means simpling of boolean equations and all uh, now while mentioning the boolean algebra i also want to add the digital logic gates and also the number system because in uh, if you see the question papers of 
uh, competitive examination the previous year question papers you can see that there is not even a single question paper asking at least one question from this session that is boolean algebra number systems and logic gates okay so all these to all these things together actually you can study these things together because they are actually connected some way and uh, it is easy to cover if you study all these uh, topics that is number system boolean uh, algebra simplification and logic gates together on a single day you actually cover a very vast area okay so the second the third topic is boolean algebra uh, it includes simplification of boolean expression by uh, applying of various boolean laws we have done a lot of videos on this okay so if you want to have a reference you can uh, always look into the digital electronics playlist okay so the third topic is boolean algebra fourth topic is from emt which is transmission line so when i thought of including transmission line i also thought of including wave guides but but uh, i thought but i think that this transmission line is having more weightage compared to wave guides in some question papers you cannot find a uh, wave guide questions but transmission lines is very very important and mostly asked area okay in transmission lines you have to mainly concentrate on the reflection coefficient voltage standing wave ratio impedance matching load impedance then characteristic impedance all these input impedance all these equations you should be knowing all these numericals you should be i mean familiar with and also the theory concepts okay so that is the fourth topic which is transmission lines from emt you cannot avoid transmission lines when you are preparing for a competitive examination and also i would suggest you to include wave guides topic because these two are actually going hand in hand but in terms of weightage i think always transmission lines are more important you may have a different opinion but from my uh research work which i have done by examining various question papers i think that transmission lines is having more weightage okay but i'm telling it once again i'm also expecting a lot of comments below this video that ma'am only uh, these 10 topics are important uh, can we skip the other topics no you cannot but you cannot skip any of these 10 that is the point okay so the fourth topic is transmission lines topic is kcl kirchhoff voltage law uh, sorry kirchhoff current law and kirchhoff voltage law now kcl you can also call as nodal analysis actually these both nodal analysis and kirchhoff current law is actually bo both uh, theoretically uh, or same operation we are doing so you cannot skip these two things kvl you actually require in a lot of subjects in the case of transistors or amplifier circuits in order to simplify various uh current or voltage equation you have to actually apply this kvl so not only in network analysis but also in other subjects kvl plays a very important role and also we know that kirchhoff current law or nodal analysis both are actually same okay so kcl is very important in solving network analysis or network circuit uh, simplification and also in a lot of op amp related circuits and other uh, circuits you know that both these equations are very very important in the electronics branch itself okay so fifth one is kcl and kvl from network analysis both this laws and its problems are very very important the sixth one is semiconductor theory in semiconductor theory you should be knowing about the carriers the n type p type and also the mass action law uh, you know that mass action law means it is connecting the carriers and also the intrinsic carrier concentration okay so this is also important and the conductivity the current density the mobility resistivity all these equations and all these things actually fall into the semiconductor theory area or the topic so this is very very important a lot of questions especially theory and also numericals especially the mass action law i am giving a lot of importance to this term or this law because i have found a lot of questions of same type and same pattern asking the asking from the mass action law concept okay so please do refer it please do study it and also the semiconductor theory you know that even the questions uh, come from the uh, type of impurities donor impurity acceptor impurities 
various classifications all these are very important okay so the sixth topic is semiconductor theory tenth one is antenna session antennas are a lot of important uh, especially the power of the antenna the directivity the gain the type of antenna its radiation pattern we have done a detailed video on the types of antenna and its radiation patterns the broad classification and the sub classifications of antenna we have i have explained very simple words in simple words i have explained please do watch it okay so this topic is very very important uh, especially antenna power the equation of power its gain conversion into db all these things are very important okay so the seventh topic is antenna i am not telling Uh, the entire antenna subject but especially concentrate on these areas antenna power finding the directivity half power beam width of e and h field how to find the directivity based on that the gain of the antenna okay so the seventh topic or the area is antenna session the eighth topic i have included is analog communication now the most important Uh, topics which fall under the analog communication is am amplitude modulation frequency modulation and phase modulation okay so in this topics the most important area you have to cover is the modulation index finding the modulation index the bandwidth the power the total power the power of the side band equations power saving how to calculate uh, the modulation index if the powers are given the equations okay actually we have done a lot of questions numerical questions covering this type of questions that's why i am uh, saying it again that's why i am including these topics because i have actually faced a lot of questions while solving the question papers for making various videos okay so i have encountered these type of questions multiple times that that, that is why i am making this video itself okay so the eighth topic is analog communication and in that you have to mainly concentrate on finding the powers of the carrier the total transmitted power the power of the side bands the modulation index finding the bandwidth of various communications sorry various modulation schemes amplitude frequency and phase so these are very important and now ask me whether digital communication topics are also important yes they are important but uh, compared to the uh, digital i think more weightage is given in question papers in various question papers for the analog communication you have to also cover the digital communication techniques also pcm uh, dpcm delta modulation all these are also important but when com coming to the numerical and the theory weightage i think analog communication uh gives a lot of importance to various questions so please give importance more importance to the analog communication okay and you cannot skip it that is a important fact okay you cannot skip analog communication these topics okay so the eighth topic is analog communication modulation index and powers and the topic is transfer carrier the transfer carrier falls into the control system subjects but uh this uh, question can also come in association with the network analysis also okay so uh, which all uh, topics you have to prepare from this transfer carrier session you have to uh, i mean practice questions from poles and zeros finding poles zeros stability of the system controllability of the system analyzing the system properties conversion of one transfer carrier from one domain to another all these are very important okay so the ninth topic is transfer carrier the 10th topic is bjt fet and mosfet all these topics actually have equal weightages when coming to the preparation okay bjt is a very very important you know that uh, bjt is have these configurations its current gains bjt calculation of various currents and voltages whether it is base current or collector current all these type of questions can come means bjt as an amplifier a lot of questions can come also same with the fet case drain current finding of drain saturation current voltages also with the mosfet okay so these three actually fall into the same category so that's why i included the 10th one as bjt fet and mosfet so these are the 10 important topics which are inevitable i'm telling it once again i'm not telling you to skip all the other topics and study only this no but i think these are the 
inevitable topics now a lot of comments can also come asking various topic other topics which you feel like yeah you may feel that some of the other topics are also very important you can prepare it is only good for you okay so please do give importance to these 10 topics and also study all the other topics okay included in the syllabus but these are the 10 inevitable or the topics which you cannot skip when you're preparing for any competitive examination of electronics i really hope that you found this video useful i've tried to explain not just the topics but the type of questions can uh, that can come in the competitive examination also along with this and i really hope that that will be useful for you if you are going to prepare for any competitive examination okay so that's it uh, if you found this view video useful please do give it a thumbs up and also share this video with maximum of your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.